Hello and welcome to a new episode. Today, let's take a look at how to take your scans to the next level. Scanning photographic images has been around for quite a long time, long before the invention of the very first digital camera in 1975. As a matter of fact, this very first digital photograph ever taken came almost two decades earlier in 1957 by Russell Kirsch of his son Walden. Since then, scanning has come a long way, from the very first digital photograph ever taken to very high-resolution drum scanners the size of a small garage to today's relatively cheap but very capable scanning hardware like the Epson Perfection V600. We would like to introduce you to a better way of scanning your photographic originals, by which you don't have to get everything right the first time you scan, which works for beginners as well as advanced users, which creates results as good or better than the original, is much faster, with no additional effort, creates a real archive of your photographic originals, and, last but not least, your scans will come out perfect all the time. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and shade some light on some of the terminology involved. What is RAW? Like most of our other episodes, this tutorial is aimed at beginners, so we won't get too technical. Basically, this is RAW. This is especially raw. And this is raw if you're rich. And this is also raw. All these four are in some way uncooked, unpolished, uncut, and unprocessed. The same is true for a raw scan like this example, showing how the sensor in our scanner sees an original, very different from how the human eye would see the same original, which is more like this. The kind of result we would expect from a normal scan saved as a TIFF or JPEG. So if a TIFF or JPEG is the same as a print or slide, how can we describe the differences between TIFF and JPEG and RAW scan in layman's terms? In short, the difference lies in the processing and compression. If for the sake of this example we choose JPEG as file format for our final scan in SilverFast, the signals or data coming from the scanner gets gamma corrected, color managed, highlights and shadows adjusted, sharpened, cleaned, compressed, etc., etc., etc. In other words, the data is heavily processed and saved into a file. All the prior processing steps are literally baked into our saved file at this point. However, if you scan raw, this procedure stops right after the digital conversion and only raw pixel data is saved. Making a mistake along the way. From an earlier Silverfast 9 SE tutorial in episode 4 scanning slides, we still have our four slides mounted in the holder and placed on the glass of our scanner. In the earlier episodes, we scanned the usual way, which incorporates at least one scanner and one original image. The scan software deploys X number of processing steps and corrections. The resulting image is saved as a JPEG or TIFF file. Now I think we will all admit it is possible we will make a mistake somewhere along the way. This image, for instance, was brightened up too much. The highlights around the eagle's beak are clearly burned out. When trying to bring back the details in this image on the basis of our JPEG or TIFF file, the burnt out image details cannot be brought back. They're gone. The information was lost when accidentally overcorrecting our image while scanning and saving it as a normal JPEG or TIFF. Also, we forgot to turn on ISRD during the scanning process, as we can see from all the dust and particles still being present. The famous Chinese philosopher Confucius said, if you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. Meaning, there's a choice when making a mistake. Admit it, learn from it, and correct it. Scanning raw with Silverfast works a lot like good old Confucius's philosophy, because the original is scanned without any optimizations and saved as a 64-bit HDRI file. 
this file acts as an intermediate step in the workflow. Let's see how this works. We'll go to the Bit Depth Settings menu in Silverfast SE, which is currently set to 48 to 24 bit, and choose the 64 bit HDRI RAW mode from the third section of the menu. As you can see, all of our image editing tools in Silverfast are now grayed out, so zero processing steps or corrections will be applied to the resulting RAW file. All that's left for us to do is choose our scan resolution of 1600 ppi, for example, choose a name, file format, you may choose either TIFF or DNG here. Both will yield access to the unprocessed HDRI raw data by the scanner sensor and destination to save the HDRI RAW file. And hit the scan button. Processing RAW in Silverfast HDR. Silverfast HDR is an application for processing and converting independent scanner raw data with the same special quality proven algorithms as in all Silverfast versions and is based on a non-destructive workflow concept. After switching over to Silverfast HDR, in the virtual light table, we navigate to the folder we chose as location for our raw scan file. We can identify the HDRI raw scan by the little batch in the thumbnail. This HDRI raw file is now the foundation for optimizations on which the normal JPEG and TIFF files will be based on. Double clicking on the file will open it in the main dialog of Silverfast HDR. You may notice the main dialog in Silverfast HDR looks almost identical to the main dialog in Silverfast SE which is great because we don't have to learn another piece of software. As you can see, having overcorrected our image, the blown out highlights in the eagle's beak are still visible. But with the 64-bit HDRI RAW file as our foundation, faulty image optimizations are no longer a problem. We simply click on the image automatic in the upper toolbar of Silverfast HDR, and having all the high bit image data available in our raw file, we can correct our mistake we have made earlier. As you just witnessed, we now have a huge advantage in our workflow. Instead of incorporating one scanner and one original, we're incorporating our 64 bit HDRI raw file, which cannot be right or wrong, good or bad. HDRI raw is always perfect. It even contains the infrared channel captured by the scanner to easily and successfully remove all the dust particles and minor scratches from our slide, which we forgot earlier. Just click on the ISRD icon in the vertical toolbar. Go into the HQ mode to preview the results of ISRD in the preview area of Silverfast HDR. And just look how clean and pristine our image now comes out without the thousands of little dust particles and scratches. At this point, another advantage of HDRI RAW files comes to light. Scanning and optimizing can take place spatially and temporally apart from each other. This gives you the opportunity to quickly scan your valuable originals. Optimization can take place at another time with Silverfast HDR.